Welcome to the promised land. Press the map button to display the map. Your position is marked on the map, and so are the positions of the natives you can talk with. Don't be shy. Go talk to them. They probably won't bite you. Take advantage of that. Hey there, stranger. Don't be afraid. I don't bite. I'm happy to see that my message helped get you here safe and sound. Let me introduce myself. I'm Kovac. Delighted to meet you. You'll have to forgive me for this somewhat distant welcome. But we both know that these days, unpleasant encounters are a dime a dozen. And even though I get the feeling there's a bit of electricity between us, I figure we should get to know each other one step at a time to see if we can work together. Sound good? Great. So, let's get this thing underway. Good. Now that the introductions are over, I'm going to make you go through a quick selection test. I've had too many unfortunate surprises in the past. I don't let just anybody stick around anymore. It won't take long. It's just to test your ability to stay in one piece when up against empty and very non-vegetarian stomachs. So, I'm going to ask you to go into the forest and not come back until all of the occupants have been, shall we say, pacified. And if you decide to gather a few medicinal herbs while you're there, go for it. They grow pretty much everywhere around there. And I figure you're going to need some soon. Get going. I'll wait for you here. Some of the resources you collect can be combined to make more advanced items, like weapons, health kits, and lots of fantastic things. To make an advanced item, you need the recipe for it. You only have basic knowledge of some recipes, and more will be unlocked when you build or upgrade your workshops or your camp. Open your camp, workshop, or survivor's crafting screen to see what recipes are available. Your backpack holds everything you pick up. But be careful, or the resources will weigh you down. Overloading your backpack affects your physical performance.
you've accumulated tons of experience points. It's almost indecent. And definitely risky. If you don't spend your experience points, you run the risk of losing some of them. If you have the bad idea to up and die, wouldn't that be a bummer? So the time has come to spend them all. Use them to raise the level of your survivor or camp, or to purchase upgrades. So don't be a cheapskate. You can't take them with you when you go. Good. Not bad for a rookie. The style was a bit unpolished, but I can see you've got potential. Anyway, I think you just convinced me to welcome you to New Kovac City. Not too sure of the name yet. What do you think? I'm sort of hesitating between Kovacgrad or maybe Kovacton. I want a name that's really unifying and worldly. Anyway, we can think about it later. Don't be afraid. We're going to accomplish great things together. Seeing as how we're now friends, I guess I should open the door to my humble refuge and introduce myself, right? Don't move. I'll unlock it right away. Hmm. Interesting. I guess the introductions will have to wait. Until we can find a way to fix this goddamn door mechanism. Okay. You win, stupid mechanical lock. So, we'll ask our new friend outside if he can go find something to fix it in town. You don't mind, do you? A bit of oil should do the trick. You should be able to find some in town, in one of the few stores that haven't been ransacked yet. While you're there, you might as well collect as much food and drink as you can. A hungry or thirsty survivor already has one foot in the grave. I'll be waiting here for you. I'm not going anywhere, obviously. And if you can find something better than that bat of yours, go for it. When you know where to look, you can find weapons everywhere. Or make them. Bring out your inner artist.
Great, you found some. And you're still in one piece. You'll have me thinking you've already read my survival guide. Anyway, let's fix this damn door now. If you can just slide the oil into the air duct there. Thank you. I'll unlock it right away. As soon as the hatchway opens, come on in. I finally get to see you in the flesh. Welcome to my humble abode, survivor. I've already told you how dangerous it is if you don't drink or eat when you're in hostile territory. But there's something else that's at least as dangerous. Negative thinking and a lack of prospects. To guard against that, so you're feeling all right, and so you can upgrade your equipment, you need a camp. And every camp worthy of the name has a trunk, even an ugly one. Without one, you can't store what you find here and there. So, I'll explain how to build your very own trunk. You're going to need wood, rope, and fabric. Wood and fabric you can find pretty much everywhere in the forest. Rope, on the other hand, is kind of hard to come by around here. I suggest you look for some in the swamp. There's always some lying around. Unless that old nutcase got there first and took everything. He goes wandering around the bog sometimes. Then he's not fighting with his brother. But whatever. First, go and find what you need to make your trunk. And when you get back, you can make it and put it somewhere. I mean, outside, on the surface. Not here, in my bunker. It would clash with the decor. No offense. One last thing before you go. If you haven't already done so, go take a look at my stock. You'll find what you need to make a few weapons that just might come in handy. Good luck, survivor.
Great. Your wood is a bit rotten, and the rope a bit frayed. But with my help, we should be able to make something out of it anyway. I'll explain everything when you get back to the surface. It shouldn't take too long. Once your trunk is finished, come back and see me. I'll have another mission for you. We'll continue when you've put your new trunk down somewhere. If you agree, of course. Survivor, you've collected enough resources to construct your first building. Open the camp's crafting screen to do it. the camp button to place the available buildings in your camp inventory. Buildings placed in the camp can be upgraded using various materials to make them more solid and to make new recipes available. But be careful. The more buildings you have and the more advanced they are, the easier they are to see. So they are more likely to draw zombie hordes to you. I'm down here. Fine. Now that you've placed the first stone of your building, I'm talking about your trunk, Survivor. We'll move on to the next step in the program. Survivor, this just won't do. You'll never make it if you keep fighting with a weapon as punchless as that. Hmm. What can we do for... Ah! I know. You need a gun. Nothing better for braining those damned infected. And I think I know where you can get the material you need. There's an abandoned house in the countryside not far from here. Farmers always have what they need to defend their property. You should take that as a lesson. A true survivor should always be prepared for anything. Even when things are quiet, you have to anticipate the worst to be sure you're ready. By the way, you have to be sure you're ready. I suggest you go now. 
Unless you want someone else with the same idea to grab all the good stuff. Like they say, first come, first served. Come on, get a move on. What are you waiting for? Sure got a piece of you, Survivor. Your health level is really low. Don't forget to heal yourself if you don't want to end up like a rotting corpse. There are lots of medicinal herbs scattered around, and if you want something more effective, you can make bandages or health kits.
Survivor!
Well, did you find what you were looking for, Survivor? You don't seem too enthusiastic. Well, I knew that. It was to give you some practice. You need to know how to take on the infected, of course, but also be able to stand up to humans. By the way, I hope you took him out. You became friends? We'll need to go over your training again, Survivor. In the meantime, let's take care of your weapon. It won't assemble itself. You found all the components. Now I'll show you how to put them together. But to do that, you'll have to build yourself an armory in your camp. The armory is where you assemble weapons and munitions. How do you do that? It's simple. But you'll need some resources first. Wood? Sheet metal? Nails? I could lend you some, but you'd be upset at not learning how to fend for yourself. And you'd be right. I already told you about an old trapper who sometimes wanders around the swamp. He lives with his brother in the forest not far from here. Go pay him a visit. He knows the area pretty well, and may even help you find what you need. Unless he decides to give you a shotgun reception. I don't know why, but people are a bit on edge of late. Anyway, you'll find out soon. Fine. Now that you've placed the first stone of your building, I'm talking about your trunk, Survivor. Will You have to pick the lock on some doors, vehicles, and furniture to open them. To do this, make sure you have the lock-picking skill and the right tool in your inventory.
survivor. I see you like picking up everything that's lying around. That's a good idea. You can never have enough junk. But mind you don't overload your backpack, or you'll end up losing agility. And that's a really bad idea in these parts. So remember to regularly transfer bulky items to your trunk to make space in your backpack. Or as a last resort, take a stimulant in case of emergency. Careful, survivor. You're way overloaded. If you continue like that, don't be surprised if you run slower and slower, or not at all. You may not be able to jump over obstacles either. Not to mention what will happen to your ankles if you fall too far. With a backpack like that, you'll feel it, believe me.
cut yourself, survivor. You're white as a ghost. Your hands are trembling. You're starving. When you are equipped with a ranged weapon and ammo, you can shoot your enemies by tilting the right stick in the direction of your target and pressing the fire button.
Some large objects on the ground can be moved when one or more survivors get together to push it. Remember that when you think you're stuck in some rat hole. 